Hi, my name's Alex, otherwise known as Wafflecopter, and I'm here to talk about one of my favorite games of all time, Metro Redux. In my opinion, Metro is one of the most underappreciated game series out there right now. It delivers an unforgettable story, solid first-person shooter gameplay, and an incredible atmosphere, and yet nobody seems to talk about it. Metro Redux is actually a bundle of the remastered versions of the first two games in the series, which are... Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Both games are set about 20 years after the world was destroyed in a nuclear war, with the last remnants of humanity living in the metro tunnels of Moscow. You play as Artyom, a man born before the war but raised in the metro, who happens to be both an amazing writer as well as a dead-eye shot. Although you can buy both games separately, you should get the Redux bundle instead, since 1. It's cheaper, and 2. It allows you to play both games back-to-back. Go on a solo adventure to save your home station in Metro 2033, and then wake up to face the repercussions of your actions in Metro Last Light. So what do these games have to offer? Both 2033 and Last Light have the exact same gameplay, and because of that I'm just going to refer to the Redux bundle as a single game from now on. But anyways, when you start your first campaign of Redux, you're given a choice of two gameplay modes. Survival, which orients the game more towards survival horror and Spartan, which turns the game into more of an action-focused first-person shooter. You also have your basic difficulty levels, which are normal and hardcore for each gameplay mode, but I highly, highly recommend that you ignore these and instead go for the Ranger difficulty, even if it's your first time playing. Ranger difficulty removes your heads-up display entirely, even the crosshair, and also makes ammo more scarce, and increases both the damage you deal and also the damage your enemies deal, as it should be in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. It sounds a little silly, but Ranger difficulty allows the single best part of this game to shine through its atmosphere. And believe me when I say that this game probably has the greatest atmosphere created for any game ever. You walk through the ruins of Moscow's city center, the snow crunching under your boots, you wipe dirt and blood off your gas mask, you look at your gun's magazine to check how many bullets you have left, you walk along in silence occasionally hearing the roar of a mutant in the distance, you search every nook, cranny, and corpse for ammo, medkits, and gas mask filters, Everything about this game screams immersion. The game's story also has some supernatural elements to it as well, explained by the idea that heaven, hell, and purgatory were all destroyed in a nuclear fire. You come across ghosts, unexplained whispers, and so-called anomalies, all of which are both fascinating and instantly lethal. The game also touches on humanity's innate desire to wage war against one another, representing this by multiple different factions, most notably the Reds, Nazis, and Spartan Order. Each faction believes that they are right for different reasons and will not hesitate to fight each other despite the fact that they have much bigger problems than their political leanings. I should probably stop talking about this game now, otherwise we'll be here for another half an hour. Uh, it is rough around the edges, animations and some sounds could be better, but if you can get past that, then you should absolutely buy this game. You're probably considering it anyway, seeing as you stayed this long into the video. It's absolutely worth the $30 on Green Man Gaming's store page, and honestly, I probably would have paid even more. Right now is the best time to experience Metro series, seeing as the next game, Metro Exodus, was just announced at E3. If you really want to, you can also buy the Metro books by Dmitry Gukovsky, which the game series is actually based on, just for some extra lore while you wait. Anyways, if any of you are interested in my stuff, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash wafflecopter771. I make funny moments videos with my friends, and occasionally I'll make a highlights video for when I'm playing a single player game. I also occasionally stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash wafflecopter771, and I'm also on Twitter at wafflecopter77. Big thanks to Green Man Gaming for having me, and I hope you enjoy your time in the Metro.